Okay. I don't agree with anything you do, anything you stand by, how you live your life. We are not the same. I'm a fucking That's champion. Fine. No, You're but, beta uh, as fuck. Uh, I'm an alpha. I'm a lion. You know, uh, you, <sighs> Oh, that, oh, that's Rawr. a yikes from me on that one. Watch. You're a meme. Watch. Wait, You're Fuzzy. a meme. I'm a meme. Oh, yes. Fuzzy. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Buzz. Uh, as you may have noticed from those clips, we're going to be talking about FouseyTube today. For those who don't know, FouseyTube is actually a slightly older YouTuber on the platform, usually doing pranks and stuff like that. Um, hasn't been in the news too much recently in the last few years. Fuzzy began promoting an event called Hate Dies, Love Arrives for July 15th, basically a concert uh, about making friends with his people who he'd made enemies with in the past, uh, promoting love, positivity, which is generally his, his motto as far as his channel is concerned. And despite the fact that events like Tanacon had 30 days of planning and still failed, Fuzzy thought he could pull this off within seven days. Tell them where tickets were gonna be on its own. It's 318 right now, tickets are gone. They've been gone. People are reselling tickets already. Fuzzy claimed that in the first hour, there were thousands of tickets sold out for this free event and actually began promoting that Drake was going to make an appearance at the event if the event got over 2 million live viewers. The King is back. Anyways, Drake, I'm trying to find you because I want to invite you to my July 15th show tomorrow. This is energy. Energy, got a lot of energy. Got a lot of people trying to jam me in this energy. Yo, Drake. I literally look like a crazy person right now because I'm outside of the place that you're at. Don't ask me how I found it, bro. Next thing I know, Drake's coming closer and closer and closer. He hugs, I believe it was Joel MB, two inches away from me. I'm staring at him in his eye like this, hungry, knowing that I left my house that night saying I'm gonna meet Drake like a crazy person and literally, Adam, I'm this close to Drake. But instead of taking that moment to be like, Drake, can I get a picture? This is gonna prove all my haters wrong. I accepted that it already was done. As soon as Drake moves and makes eye contact with me and I stare at him, I see the, his second right hand man and he nods at me like this. I walk out with him, I go, what's next? He goes, brother, take my number, I'll tell you all the details tomorrow. One thing that's very interesting to me personally is that reportedly Drake was in New York during the entire span of this event. I did it, I was hyped. So I you didn't it. meet Drake, he just looked at you. I mean, if he just looked at you, did you really meet Yo, Drake? Do something for me. In the next two hours, will for yourself to touch nose with Drake. So if it happens, I'll sell my entire YouTube channel. Did I'll you, give you $10 million. Did you million touch nose to nose? Literally like this. Ultimately, the event was shut down due to a bomb threat, making over a thousand people be evacuated by the police. Fuzi, who was apparently on his way to the event, ended up standing up on some cars and gathering a crowd. Tyler Perry put me in this movie! Ah! He then began preaching about a whole mess of different stuff. It's not a mistake. It was supposed to happen. Something bad could have happened at that event. God didn't want it to. I wanted that event to be a success tonight. I wanted my picture with Drake. I met Drake last night. <laughs> Wait till I tell y'all that fucking story. I'm not hiding behind Twitter. I love you. I love you. Wait, that's not Simi though. Before I even got to tell my story, you're making a documentary on it so you can post it after the fact. So if it flops, you can have the hot news on how Fusi f***ed up who should kill himself. If it's a success, I become a good person. But why are you going to profit on me being a good person? Why can't I make a documentary on this story? Can I say one thing? right now because I'm in fear because it's higher level thinking but it's higher level thinking because you're thinking clearly without greed without ego Keemstar was in attendance for the event as well as Sam Pepper the later of which was actually arrested for making the bomb threat or at least he was accused of doing so like we don't really know what this no, is right no, no, so is that why everybody clicked on July 15th yeah. I feel like that's the reason. Who do you think's gonna be here? Eventually the crowd dispersed and you thought that would be the end of the story. However, later on at the No Jumper podcast, what was originally just an interview with Shane Dawson eventually turned into a Keemstar interview, a Fousey interview, Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon showed up at one point. This led to some pretty interesting moments in the podcast, such as Fousey accusing Sam Pepper of having negative energy, and that's why he was arrested for the bomb threat. One of them two told the police I was shouting that I had a bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want me to answer? 
I mean, like, do you not think that's like the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Can I answer now? Yeah, sure. I give you the floor, so can I get the floor now? Oh, absolutely. I have no doubt <laughs> that the you. energy that you walk around with attracted itself to the venue. I'm not saying it was your fault. I'm uh -huh. not saying it was you. I'm not saying it was your audience. <clears throat> but the issue here isn't country. It isn't John Fitzpatrick. It's how you live your life as so a person. So you're saying because of my energy, it justifies the fact that one of your staff shouted, you lit that, told, lied to the police. You manifested it into for, your life. I manifested that one of your staff member <laughs> True. would Read lie the to secret. the police and commit a criminal offense by Read the confiding. Because you live your life that way every day. God. How can you justify that? Are you mean? seriously like, bro? Watch. You're a meme. Watch. Wait, you're Fuzzy. a meme. I'm a meme? Oh, yes. yes. Yo, I yo, you wanna bring hate into this? Since you fucking fell off of YouTube, how many fucking movies have I been in? You surround yourself with yes men. And, and right that's why I'm a fucking leader and a champion, dog. You know that's you why I'm gonna become a, a world famous motivational you speaker. You have money and you give people money and they say yes, boys. Yeah, because yes, I help seriously. people. You know what I told my friend who started streaming with me? Tell me if he's done this for you. Tell me if anybody's done this for you. I told him that if he flies out here, I'm gonna buy his parents a house. <laughs> and I'm gonna make them live a good life. How does that How have you guys supported each other I, I, like I that? I let him sleep on the bunk bed. He does. <laughs> and it's good for you. But what I'm saying is, I help my friends. Yes, he helps me a Don't lot. Don't come in here trying to talk to me I like a fucking walking meme. No, I let no, people you, talk shit about me on the internet, not in real life, dog. Oh my god. Look at me in the eye when I talk to you. No, it's awkward, though. One clip that really irritated the shit out of me with Fuzi was this hypocrisy right here. I hope in every single stream for the rest of your life, your audience reminds you how much of a bitch you look like tonight. I'm sure they will. Thank you. You little bitch. <laughs> Count how many times I called him a bitch, flipped him off, told him he's a little sucker in real life, and he's a bitch who acts on the internet. And I'll give you guys, like, put up a thing. I'll throw a party in LA and throw a pizza party for you guys. I'll order that many pizzas in Yo, honor please, of this little please bitch. Please don't roast me about this in the chat forever. Bro, your life is ruined that Please, please guys. Bitch. Don't mess with somebody trying to spread positivity and love. Which Sam Pepper himself even calls out. Right, oh, like, wait, wait. Again. I love that sentence. Say it again, please. So yeah, at the end of the day, I guess Fuzi got what he wanted and slightly more relevant as me and other YouTubers have made quite a few videos about this event already. It was kind of inevitable. So yeah, I hope you learned something about that story. Uh, one thing I do want to shout out quickly before we go is the Uncharted fan film. You guys may have heard of it. If you're a fan of Nathan Fillion or Uncharted in general, definitely recommend checking that out. It's a 15 minute fan film with Nathan Fillion in the role of Nathan Drake, which was kind of meant to be. Check out the links in the description below. Subscribe if you can, like if you can. Uh, be very helpful for this page. On that, have a great evening. Hope you learned something. Bye-bye.